Leasing University adds $2 billion per year to your clients and you guys 7x their amount of leases compared to the national average. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct and something that we're very proud of, Jonathan. How, how, do, you, how do you do those types of numbers? Great, great question. It doesn't have anything to do with more marketing spend. It doesn't have anything to do with getting more leads. Where we focus is the traditional sales process. What leasing agents and property managers have been taught traditionally, well, it just doesn't work today. And when you implement a sales process like Leasing University, suddenly you're able to convert those leads that you're already paying for into leases. One thing I don't think a lot of people know is the national average for leads to leases is 18 leads equals one lease which is an insane amount of money out the door that people yeah. are turning through that could be used in so many more effective ways for their communities. You're absolutely right. And, and I'm going to make you a little bit more freaked out. I believe that that number is much higher than the 18 that they report. And the reason why is I believe that for every 18 that are being captured, there's another 30 to 40 leads that we're simply not even putting on the radar because our people haven't been trained to either A, answer the phone, and they don't know how or what to say when they do answer the phone. So those 18 leads are ones that we're already counting in our pipeline. There's a lot more that we're missing. Well, what I would love to ask is this then, from, cause you've been in this industry and been doing this for how long? Oh gosh, uh, two decades now, both as an owner, investor on the marketing side. I've, I've been in the industry a while. Okay, I love that because you've, you've seen how tech then would come in, make uh, training more effective. So I want to ask this, what is it that you see with how a typical property management company trains a brand new leasing agent who may have zero sales experience and what gaps do you come in and fill because I believe that's what would help educate people on how you're able to have these metrics that you guys have. Yeah, and that's exactly right. That's spot on by what we mean by the old leasing process doesn't work. Traditionally, that sales training and that leasing process training is lumped into an LMS. And no disrespect to the LMSs out there, but they're also teaching mold remediation, HR, compliance, risk management. There's the whole host of bots that that training, those long, sometimes boring, animated PowerPoints cover, and they lump sales training into that. And what's missing in that traditional training really is the process. Sure, there's some tips. Some of them still apply. A lot of them don't. But that traditional training typically teaches our people to provide information more like a librarian and collect information like a census taker and really spend their time doing the talking, focusing on the community's features, pricing, availability, and never really learning about that prospect. You can see evidence of this pretty much anywhere just simply by picking up the phone and calling an apartment community. As an industry, we do a terrible job in our sales process. And what's one way that you would always see that if you were, if you had a friend who was on an apartment hunt and you heard them calling a leasing agent, what's one thing that you commonly see that is essentially just throwing leads completely out the, out the door that could be easily fixed through a system such as leasing university? Great, great question. So the answer is this, the industry has completely changed. Whether we like it or not, that old sales training, the old way of leasing apartments, it just doesn't work today. Why? Today's renter has more access to information than ever before. So the idea of you're going to provide them information that they already don't know about, well, that's all. They already know everything they need to know about your community. The other thing is today's renter has more choices than they've ever had before. The old school way of leasing an apartment was you're going to call me, I'm going to click away at my keyboard, check availability, and you're just going to be happy with the fact that I may have something available. Today's renter is really asking you to help them understand them, 
Help them build a relationship that's meaningful to them. Moving is the most stressful life event out there. Today's renter already has all the information they need. They've got a ton of choices and they're expecting that leasing agent to connect with them and help them make that decision. Well, the thing okay. that, go ahead. Well, no, sorry, continue. I'll, I have a, a tie-in question that I'll, um, that I'll ask at the end. Go ahead and continue where you're going. On yeah, that. I want to make sure I asked, answered your original question. You said, if I had a friend, what would be the areas that they're missing? There's three major ones that just about every apartment community has. And the folks out there watching this, if they're honest with themselves, chances are they're going to probably fail at these three as well. Okay. The first one is the phones, okay? Call apartment communities. You can spend the entire day calling communities within a certain portfolio. You're not gonna hear a consistent greeting. You're not gonna hear a consistent way of handling that phone call. There's just no consistency out there. The consistency that may be there somewhat is the wrong information. Folks saying things like, how can I help you? Worst possible thing that you can say. The other area, the second of the three, is closing. All of our traditional sales training that we've had over the decades in property management, nobody really touches how to close. They don't provide a system and the psychology behind it that makes it easy for that leasing agent to follow. And there's certainly not a unified close that works in any market with any type of pricing, with any type of apartment, with ultra high levels of success. We're gonna give them that close. And the third thing, and probably the most important thing that traditional sales training misses, is when it comes to property management, traditionally we've taught our people to overcome objections, worst possible training you could ever have. You wanna teach your people to handle an objection. We're not gonna overcome anything. I can't blow a hole in the side of that building, I can't move the property and I can't change the rent. So I need to handle that objection. But leasing university educates them on, and a lot of people don't realize this, when it comes to property management, nine out of 10 of the things that property managers think are objections, they're merely complaints. When people are under stress, they tend to go negative and they tend to complain. And like I said before, moving is the most stressful life event. So your people need to have the tools to understand what's just a complaint, and what's an objection that must be handled for me to get this lease? And for the people that do want to learn more about this process, I just know one of the biggest pain points in our industry is the time, and especially with where things are right now, is, is the concern that by reaching out, you're actually adding more to your plate and you're not looking at that ROI. And so whenever you have someone contact you, I have two questions, and one would be, how can they learn more about this on their own and two what is that time looking like that takes someone from beginning courses with you to actually seeing direct roi from the previous month before they started with you yeah great question so as an owner an operator myself as an investor now um, that's critical to me as well i want to see roi right away the ways that they can reach out to us they can of course find us at leasinguniversity.com or they can call our team at 888-735-7451. Getting started on Leasing University is simple, it's easy, it's instant. There's no contracts, there's no commitments. They can register their people right online. Now, as far as that lift that they're gonna get, well, because the old training doesn't work, really somebody's first few minutes, first hour within the online portal, they're gonna start to awaken and realize things like, wow, if I just say things differently when I answer the phone, things are gonna flow better. And typically our clients see a lift right away, even in the first day of giving their people access to leasing the university. And on top of that, to make sure that they get that lift in the first month, we also do live coaching calls. So in many cases, it's me on that call, I'm jumping in with those clients' people on a Zoom meeting just like this, and we're working together, we're having fun, we're calling competing communities, we're drilling, we're practicing, we're rehearsing, we're making sure that they've got those skills really locked in so that they can perform each and every month for our clients. 
I think that's, that is something key. And part of why I actually wanted to have you on today was for this reason right here. When you get into this industry and after you begin getting to know the property managers, regionals and such, a lot of them have the same pain points. And sales yeah. is something that has this huge label put on it as daunting, but in reality, it's another skill that Frito's principle can solve. Doing 20% of the work gives you 80% of the result because you have these systems that you can simply hop on and they just educate you on those keys and people are going to have the same objections and it's almost like when you get drilled into it, as a leasing agent, you can become a robot because you know what the exact answer is for these top five objections you see and that people make it far more complicated than it needs to be. And let's be honest, the money that's going out the drain on the funnel anyways, for these leads to leases can be used in so much better and more effective ways, such as trainings. Yes, and you're absolutely right with all of that. And I would add to it, one of the shortcomings of traditional training is they don't explain the why behind things. So people go through that sales training and they still, they end up leaving the training still feeling like, you know what, I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to be high pressure. I don't want to be salesy. We've taken all of that into account and we show them the why and the way that they can be professional and collaborative and positive and really help people improve their lives without ever feeling pushy or high pressure or salesy. So it really becomes a win, 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 win for the portfolio, win for the leasing agent, and who we're most concerned about, win for that resident. When they go through this process, they feel like, wow, this person really understood me, really cared about me, and that improves your retention. And as we all know, retention is vital in this industry. And I think the only thing I would compliment to that is wanting a resident to feel like they have a home is not salesy at all. It's just called being ethical and wanting the best for your clients. Absolutely. That, that is that reframe that a lot of people struggle with because if they're calling you and they're calling five other communities, they need a place to stay. And yes. if you feel that you genuinely care, they're going to want to live at your community every time. You're absolutely right. And a lot of that training focuses on, let's call it tricks and gimmicks and specials and promotions. Those may work some of the time, but they never make that resident feel really good about their decision. The only way to do that is to have a simple process that focuses on that resident so that it becomes that resident's decision. When that resident truly believes that, hey, they understood me, they communicated with me, and at the end of the day, I made the decision to live there, they're gonna be far less likely to move at the end of their lease. Uh, Matt, I could, I could continue talking to you for hours about the sales process and all of the misconceptions of it, uh, but to refrain from that happening, I would guess I'll go ahead and end with this. Uh, like I said, I wanted people to be able to get something that would give them direct benefit and help you profit. To tie all this together, because there's a lot of information here, how would you like for people to learn more and just what's the best way of those that you mentioned earlier that someone could contact you? Yeah, again, just go to leasinguniversity.com or call our offices at 888-735-7451. We're here to help whatever you need. If you just want to bounce some questions off me or the team, we're here for you. Chances are they may have seen me on YouTube. I try to put out usable content every day through the Leasing University YouTube channel. Bottom line is, a lot like you guys are, we're very, very passionate about helping this industry, about helping these owners and operators. And at the end of the day, just like you guys, helping these residents at this community really enjoy the place that they call home. There's nothing more fulfilling than giving people that feeling. No, not at all. Well, Matt, thank you so much for the time and everything. And I look forward to hearing about all of the, uh, the good contacts that come your way and all of the good things that happen six months, a year, two years down the line from that. Thank you so much. Be great. Thank you. The way people rent apartments has changed. Today's renter has access to more information. Today's renter has more choices. The apartment industry needs you. Studies have shown that moving is the most stressful life event. The old sales training, well, it just doesn't work today. 
I'd like to teach you how to take the stress out of leasing apartments in a way that's meaningful to you and your renters and get you seven times more leases. I'll show you how the perfect leasing process works. I'm gonna walk you through everything from answering the phone to closing the lease. I'm gonna show you how to determine your prospect's wants and their needs so that you can build value in your apartments. You will learn how to handle any objection or complaint. I'm gonna show you how to connect with your renter so it's easy for them to rent with you. I've taught the best property management companies and thousands of people just like you how to lease apartments. Property management is complicated. I'll simplify it for you. There's more competition than ever before. I'm gonna show you how to be number one. All of a sudden, your career, it's gonna make perfect sense. Even if you've never worked in sales or property management before. And for the advanced property manager, I'm gonna show you how to take things to the next level. Leasing University is a new, simple, step-by-step -step process that's effective. We're gonna help you become a rock star in property management. I'm Matt Easton, and this is Leasing University.